Finally, I can actually make a Red Sox video. Listen, so y'all probably have been wondering, I said that way too fast. Y'all have probably been wondering, where have these Red Sox videos been, right? They're 26 games in now. Where have these videos been? Well, opening day, I forgot to make a video, which was, of course, our best game all season, right? I'm like, okay, whatever. And I'm like, and then I thought I would just do like series recaps instead of doing every single game. I would just do series recaps. But the Red Sox just kept losing and losing and losing. And it just, I, I didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just, I didn't want to talk about it. It was way too upsetting. I mean, the, um, hold on, I gotta open my door. Um, I mean, before these past two games are on a nine-game losing streak, they're eight and eighteen, as we speak, right? They're eight and eighteen, and that's just horrible. But for the first time, in a, I don't know if they've done it all season. Actually, we the Red Sox have won two straight games. Two. I didn't know it was possible. Because <laughs> here's the problem: the Red Sox pitching is absolutely horrible. It's disgraceful. Like, Nate Evaldi is our is our best starting pitcher right now, and he has a four ERA, a four point like three something, right? The rest of the starters have like a like there was a graphic of it. Like he has a four. The rest of the starters have a seven, seven point like six or something. Like our pitching is absolutely horrible, and our bullpen. One game gave up twelve runs. Our bullpen is all, like our pitching all around. Just we can't do anything. Our pitching is horrible. It's a disgrace. It really is. Like, I didn't check the number before I made this video, but the Red Sox have given up the most runs in the entire MLB and have the highest ERA, which which makes sense why those two would correlate. Their ERA is 6.22. And they've given up the most runs in the league. Don't know the number. It's over, it's like 160 or something. Um, it's horrible. But finally... We showed up, right? Um, this game, we played the Orioles in Baltimore. And Evaldi was so, so good today. So, such a strong performance. He pitched seven innings, our longest outing for a starting pitcher all year long. That should tell you how bad it's been. So, I didn't button my jersey. Um, yeah, seven innings. That's the highest it's been all year. Like, that's how bad it's been. Um... Yeah, he had a great night. Didn't give up any runs till like till the seventh inning where he gave up a homer. That that ended up being the only run the Orioles scored. Um, yeah, let's just let's just talk about the the whole season for a second. Like I said, pitching has been awful. But then the problem is, and the offense, like to show you to tell you how bad this this pitching has been. In the last four of the Red Sox six games. Actually, okay, no, 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 scratch that, scratch that. This, it was before these past two games. So before the, the game yesterday and today, the Red Sox in the, in the last four of their six, four of their six games, they had given up 10 plus runs. 10, 10 plus, 10 plus runs. Again, like what? Four out of the six games, the other team scored 10 plus runs. Not only that, seven of the last nine, eight plus runs. You you can't win, and the pro and the thing is, most of those runs are coming one in innings one through four. So by the time so we go into the we're in the third inning down six runs. The offense can't get going. When you're down by six runs every game in the third inning, your offense is dead. It, it just emotionally they're just out of the game. Just think about it. It's it's so hard to get into a groove and get going when you know that you have to battle back every single game. It's horrible. And here's the thing. Finally, finally, one time, the, the Red Sox only gave up two runs. We only scored one run. We lost. That's 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 how it always is. We, we finally don't give up. Okay, we don't. Not that we don't give up any runs. We finally only give up like three runs or less, but then we can't score. So we lose. It's so annoying. It's so frustrating. Like we'll score, we lost a game eight to seven, and then the next game, the next game we we'll lose two to one. Like what, what? And the thing is, the offense hasn't even been that great this year. We're middle of the pack. I think we're fourteenth 
in runs scored, I believe 14th, maybe. I, th I, I believe I believe it's 14th. It might be like 16th, but still. Um, so I'm not saying that the pitching would completely make us the best. Like, But the thing is, we're a pitcher or two away from playoff from um, – like a, like fighting for the playoffs. If we get a good enough pitcher, we're talking. We could we we could be in the World Series conversation. Like that's how good this offense has been. Because think about it, one through nine, the, the Red Sox have one of the best one through one through nines in the entire MLB. Easily, but we just cannot pitch a baseball. It's ridiculous. The Rays scored seventeen runs one game. Seventeen. But anyways, this game, let's go back to the positives. This game was amazing. Like I said, Evaldi, seven innings, only one run. Give up a homer in the last inning. Whatever. He was tired. Whatever. He was out over 100 pitches. The season high before this was 91. He was just tired. But the big part is Red Sox gave him a three-run cushion. Yes, there were points where the Red Sox had runners in scoring positions, didn't convert. It was okay because Evaldi was tearing it up. And then in the ninth inning, Ninth inning. Mind you, the Orioles have a guy on the mound with a 0.00 ERA. He was in, he came into the eighth inning, shut everything down. 0.00 ERA, right? Ninth inning. Um, Verdugo walks. And then I believe it was Jackie Bradley got a base hit. No, no, it was Devers. Devers got a bloop. He got a bloop. Um, a bloop single. Like in no man's land, where it goes like just over the shortstop's head, but it's just in enough that the left the fielder can't get it. Oh, it was amazing. And then, um, I believe we had two outs. I no that no uh, no wait what? Oh no no I'm right I'm right I'm right okay okay so it was first and second, and then yeah first and second. So I don't know who hit the ground ball. Someone hit a ground ball. And it looked like, oh, great, routine double. Here it is, the double play, right, to kill everything. But they throw it to second. But So they get the out at second, but the I don't know if it was the probably, probably the second baseman was trying to turn the double play, and he, he um, bobbled the ball, right? So they only get the one out, so we have runners on the corners with one out. Mitch Moreland comes up to, up to the plate. Battles, just battles, battles, battles. Um, it was J.D. Martinez who grounded the double play, by the way. I just thought of that. Um, battles, battles, battles. Um, gets full count. Gets a hanging curveball down the middle. Four, sends it 400 feet. Gone. Three-run shot, right? 402 feet. You, off the bat, you knew it was gone. And I was screaming so loud. <laughs> it was bad. I was very hyped. Um, and then we got two outs after that. Pillard, the and the top of the ninth ended with Pillard hitting a, a deep line out. Whatever. Um, but here's the thing: there were multiple games last year where we'd be we'd be up by six plus runs in the eighth inning and lose. So even then, you can be all excited in the moment about the home run, but you need to know in the back of your head. That this game is nowhere near over. Nowhere. But the Red Sox, the Red Sox might have found somebody. This Phillips Valdez kid has like a .63 ERA. He comes into the game, and I believe, no, he did not, he did not. He struck, I believe he struck out two batters and got a, um, a, a like a light fly out to left field. Like it wasn't. But he literally came in and shut everything down. Ended the game. Send him home. The last, the last strike, looking a disgusting two seamer right there. Oh, it was dis bro. It looked like it was going out and just came right back in at the. Oh, it was disgusting. This kid is nuts. Um. But yes, the Red Sox won. Have won two games in a row now. They beat the Phillies yesterday. I don't think they've done that all season. I. I tried to look back on the schedule. I couldn't look at all the games, so I don't know. But Red Sox are 8-18, eight and, 18, and of course, 
Of course, the Blue Jays were down by seven runs against the Phillies, and they won nine to eight. I think I, all I know is my friend kept telling me that they blew a seven-run lead or that the Blue Jays came back from a seven-run lead and ended up winning because, of course, they did. And the Rays swept the – I believe they swept the Yankees in New York. It's so frustrating, man, because we finally get, we finally bring some wins together, but the teams were trying to catch up to win, so it's like nothing ever happened. Oh, it's so frustrating. But anyways, we're 8-18. We are on a two-game win streak. We play the or we play two more games against the Orioles in the series. If we can sweep, that's huge, because they're twelve and thirteen right now. Um, we win two more games. That's ten and eighteen. They're what? Uh, twelve and fifteen, right? Math. Okay. So then we're three games behind them. I think. So that'd be huge if we can sweep this 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 series right here. Anyways, that's gonna do it. Red Sox 8 and 18. I haven't made videos for a while because it's been upsetting and depressing, but you know what? I don't care anymore. I'm doing it. And yes, I've been watching every game. Yes, I've seen every single game, every single pitch. Actually, it's not a lie. I turned the game on and then we already five, we are already five pitches deep, but whatever. Um, I haven't stopped watching. It's not like I just gave up on the team and I'm not paying attention. I'm watching every game. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys next time.